Yeah, 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 yeah. TikTok, this up. You look fat, this up. Me love your curve, them. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I did put my hair in some perm wraps, and this is the first time I'm actually doing this, and I am impressed. Like I'm shook. Like, I'm doing all these natural hair style. Who am I? Like this. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, I did love the outcome. The only thing is I wish like the front of me were a little bit longer so the band could have reached like, you know, a little bit. I mean, I could stretch it if I want because it is as, you know, long. I could stretch it. But yeah, if you guys want to see how I got my hair like this, make sure to continue watching. But don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next hair video. One, two, three. Okay, so basically I'm starting off with freshly washed hair. I washed my hair the night before and put it in some like four big plaits just so you know I could keep it detangled and all that so now i'm just sectioning off my hair showing you guys this whole small of a section i'm going to put the rods in so this right here is like one perm rod itself so i'm just oiling my scalp because i didn't do that the night before so i'm doing that no um this step isn't really mandatory but i did it so now i'm using the aunt jackie's freeze patrol mousse I'm showing you guys how much I use right here. Um, so basically, I just saturate it on my hair. Make sure everywhere is saturated. Um, everywhere got on mousse. So now for the perm rods, I'm using an orange ones. And as you guys could see, I am smoothing the edges when doing that. That is an important step because if not, the ends of your curls are going to be frizzy and we don't want that at all. This is my first time doing this and some of them like in the back wasn't smooth as you know I would want to. So it was frizzy but next time when I'm doing it I definitely know I have to make sure every one of them, the ends are smooth. So you guys could see the next section. This is going to be two perm rods. Um, I try to do them as small as I possibly can because the smaller, the more neater and the more curlier, you know, you're going to get. So as I said, I use the Aunt Jackie's Fritz Special. Most you guys could use any mousse you prefer. I just had that one on hand, so I prefer to use that one. So as you guys could see, I'm making sure that I smooth the ends, like the ends have to be smooth. Then I did a, di a different method with this one. I tried to do the, like, the spin around method, which was kind of easier in a sense, but I preferred the first um, method that I used. I mean, as I said, it is my first time, so I was trying all different methods that I saw on other videos. And honestly, I preferred the first method because the curl didn't really come out any like different or neat or anything. So yeah, I'm just doing the same thing for the next one. You guys could watch me. As I said, the ends have to be smooth. Some part of my hair was shorter, like in the front. So, I, as you guys could see, I make sure to smooth on the ends for the um the short part because all the ends have to be smooth to get a perfect um curl. So you guys could see what I'm doing when closing the perm rod. I close it to the front where the curl start. Where it will, where the yeah, basically. Because we don't want it to be loose and hanging around. You understand? Like this one. So, yeah. As you guys could see, the fur, the front section of my hair is um, shorter, as some of you guys may know. So, um, I did do it in smaller sections. Just so it could have been more tighter and more curly. I just wanted the curl to be neat. So, some part at the front was longer and shorter. So, I did... Um, smooth the long the longer edge the longer ends and then as soon as i reach to the, the like the shorter ends i make sure to smooth that also as i said it's my first time it was a lot of trial and errors i was kind of getting upset <laughs> but i really love that come out it worked in my favor and i'm so happy with the results so right here i'm just showing you guys this section you guys know it's shorter than the rest of my hair um Right here I had trouble opening up that perm rod. It was like they were already closed and it was very hard to open. But yeah, um yeah, the orange rods did fit on the front part of my hair. Normally I see people use like the yellow one for short up section of them here, but the orange one worked very fine. It worked just fine for me. I feel like if I had used a different um rod, the curls would have been more smaller. It wouldn't be as like full and big as the rest of them. 
but yeah it was very hard to close them and very hard to open <laughs> the rods but i got a hang of it like um during doing everything so basically i'm gonna just do the same thing you guys could watch remember please remember to smooth the ends like smooth the ends and wrap it around once around like you hear once around the ends and then you could like move it all around i don't know if my <laughs> if my instructions make any sense but you guys saw what i did This is the last one that's left. In total, this took me about say two hours. Um, I don't know how much perm rods I did end up using because I got this from my mother salon, so I didn't have to buy it. But I would say like probably like five packs of perm rod would do properly if you wanted to be as small as mine. I don't know how much rods count is it. I don't know how much is in my head, so I can't give you guys. Um, when doing this again, I have to do it in like a pattern so all the curls could fall perfectly. When taking out the rods, you guys are going to see what I mean. But, um, yeah, I let it dry for two hours under the dryer and for the rest of the day basically. And then in the night, I did take them out. As you guys could see on my face, like I was so surprised. I was so happy with the results because I did not know what to expect. For the fifth time this is my first time doing this so i was so yeah i can't believe it came out so pretty the curls are so perfect <laughs> yeah one two three Fuck it. with this one the ends weren't as smooth as the rest one so you guys could see a little bit of frizz there um so you need to make sure that you smooth the ends when putting on the rods when taking the rods out you guys could see that i spin it in like the opposite direction i put it on just so the curls could stay in place until i'm ready to separate them you see As I was saying, the next time I'm doing it, I would do it in the a pattern because you guys could see up here, like, like I curl it in the next direction. So it's kind of hard taking the rods out. I'm just using some oil to separate each curl. And when doing this, I'm going to do like a small finger coil just to separate them so I get that definition. So as you guys could see that's what i'm doing i'm going to do that for the rest of them and when doing this you want to make sure you're doing the finger coil in the direction that the curls form
So after separating each curls, I'm going to go ahead with a white tooth comb. You guys could use a traditional pick if you have one. I'm using this just to give it a little bit more dimension and volume to it. Um, you guys could stretch it if you want to with um, a blow dryer. I didn't have my blow dryer on hand so I didn't um, bother to do it. But definitely when doing it again, I'm going to stretch it with a blow dryer. Especially in the bang area so it could be a little bit more longer touching my eyebrows at least because this wasn't really cutting it i mean i still love how it came out but i just wish it was a little bit more longer but yeah i really love this hairstyle and definitely will be doing it very often yeah so basically i'm just picking it to get the desired height and volume to it I think that's what I'll be doing for the rest of the video. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, that's it for this hairstyle. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. Comment some more video ideas that I could do with my natural hair because, as you guys could see, I'm experimenting. Um, right here, I think I wanted, I was considering putting in a mohawk, but I don't bother. I didn't, the mohawk vibe me for me. So I left it as it is and yeah i'm very obsessed with this hairstyle guys but yeah as i said that's it for the video guys make sure you guys like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye